Okay, today on uh, Rick Steel Customs, I'm going to be doing a review of some new tools that I bought. And I did buy these. These are not uh, free for me to review. I actually paid for them with my own money. So this is going to be an honest review. What do I think about the Flex brushless 24 volt uh, tools? Thus far, I'm extremely impressed. I absolutely love them. I would recommend them to my best friend. <clears throat> These tools are fantastic. I, I haven't had any issues at all. The batteries are nice, long uh, life batteries. I, I do not know a whole lot about these wireless, um, I mean, uh, battery operated tools. I will say that um, I, ha I do have other tools that are, are uh, that I've been I've had them for for a few years now that um, are battery. I have Dewalt um, XRT, I believe they're called, um, drill, sawzall, and uh, those I'm not impressed with at all. I'll be honest with you, they do not have the uh, battery life. Of these of course these are lithium where the other ones are not but these things just go and go and go um, the uh, grinder that I have not even used yet I know the closest thing to using it I stuck the battery in it pulled the trigger and, and it turns on that's all I can tell you about that the sawzall is fantastic I've got a lot of use out of that uh, the uh, drill, I've gotten a lot of use out of that. I highly recommend them. <clears throat> um, the drill, that actually came with two two and a half hour uh, batteries. Now, I don't know if that actually means oh, the, it'll last two and a half hours continuously, or, and I do not know if the five hour will last five hours. I, I, some, I, I doubt it. But the cool thing is... <laughs> When I bought the drill, I believe it came with um, these two batteries here, and it came with one of these chargers and the case. The Sawzall came with a five hour battery and a charger, and the grinder came with a five hour battery and a charger, and they each came with their own zipper carry case which is a really nice case. Um, I do not recommend buying, because they sell them without the battery and without the charger. The, the price difference to get the battery and the charger, it, it's a no-brainer. I think, and I'm not even going to, I don't even want to quote the price because I don't remember it, the exact price for the drill. But I think it was like, like 97 bucks just for the drill. And uh, the charger itself, if you buy that separate, that's like a hundred bucks. And and I think I could be wrong, I, but it was it, the, the price. It just wasn't worth it buying the drill without the charger or without the batteries. Like the uh, the five hour battery, that is a very expensive battery. It's it's over a hundred bucks, I believe. And um, well, just look up the prices for yourself because again, you can buy that uh, saws all separate and you can buy you can buy all these tools separate but it's just a waste of money don't do that doesn't matter if you have three chargers three chargers are better than one if you break one you've got another one to go go fall back on or you can keep one at a work site keep one at the house and uh, you know you're never going to be without uh, the ability to charge your tools so always buy them as a kit ready to go so um, today I'm going to be cutting the back panel out of this van door because I picked up some pop-out window doors for my 73 uh, uh, Chevy van that has no no windows in the doors I wanted windows that pop out they sell these windows on eBay for like 300 bucks I only paid $77 for two doors, and the doors are perfect other than the fact that they had uh, a custom van um, 
deal done to them where they had like a shelf or something in there. They were already removed when I bought the doors, otherwise I wouldn't be doing this. But um, in any case, I want to fill that hole. I have these doors that are smashed up really good on the other side. So this is about all they're good for, this and scrap metal. They wanted to give me, asked, they, they charge a core charge at the junkyard. They wanted to give me five bucks. So I'll get more than that for scrap. I can even list the hinges on, on eBay if I wanted. Anyway, it's going on that van right there. So I wanted to see, and in case this doesn't work, this grinder, I'm gonna be using the DeWalt. And I'll be giving that a very low re recommendation. But um, right now, at the beginning of this video, I haven't used that. I can tell you the drill, I would say that's a must buy. The Sawzall is a must buy if you, you, know, you have a use for these tools. So I'm gonna give it a try. Let's see what it does. One of the things I noticed about it is it has this, this cool adjustable uh, protection shield here to keep the sparks away from you, but of course you gotta wear a face mask anyway. Okay, well, as you can see, it cuts really nice. It seems like when it binds, it, bind, it bound up on me three times here, it actually stops. And I'm guessing that's some kind of built-in safety feature. I don't know for sure, but presumably that's what that is. Okay, apparently I've got some spot welds here. So I'm going to leave it at that. But um, thus far, it's working as advertised. It's doing what it should do. 
uh, if you need a cordless grinder, I don't see why you wouldn't buy this. It's got um, what appears to be, I don't know if that's a battery, battery level. Or if I can, okay, I can probably turn down the RPMs. Yeah, look at that, see? Okay, that's, that's interesting. I don't know what, why you would want to turn down the RPMs. And then it has a button in the back of the battery to tell you how much life is remaining in the battery. This battery is 50% depleted, or if you're a, a glass half full guy, it's 50% full. So um, it's got a, a protection screen built in here for the air intake. I'm guessing that's the air intake. Oh, it seems like that's an exhaust. I feel it blow out. So this must be the intake. And of course, it has the ambidextrous um, grip handle that'll go from the right, right side to the left side. So, I like it. I especially like this. I think that's really cool. Put it in any position you want. That's the one thing I didn't like about, about this one. This one has a, has a snap ring. You have to un undo it, which is no big deal either. You just undo it and then you can turn it, but it's, it's kind of sloppy. The RPM is a lot greater on this one, which could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. If your blade should shrapnel on you, well, higher RPM is going to be a bad thing. So, problem is though, you can't take a corded um, grinder cut off into the junkyard with you you don't have an extension cord that long this no extension cord needed so I prefer to have both corded and battery powered this is the first battery powered grinder I have so I can't really do a comparison with another brand but this does the job that's what I can tell you about this but in any case, guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this review, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, hit the bell icon because I do uh, a few of these. I've done a few of these re um, reviews, product reviews. And you might get something out of it. You might not. But um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Hit the bell icon. And uh, like and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And um, you'll get my honest opinion. And you might learn how to do stuff that um, you never thought about doing, like body work. Like working on uh, mechanical deals on cars or paint jobs or um, fixing up old classics. But um, anyway, that's all for today. Appreciate you guys' time watching. Have a great one. Rick Steele out.